What's going on, Pre-PT Nation? I wanted to share uh, a tip request question. It's not directly the tip request question, but this an applicant sent us a, a plea for help, essentially, saying, I am too scared to even apply, to enter my information into PTCast. I'm so afraid of applying. And I'm sure there's other people out there who are completing their PTCast application, but they're afraid to press submit. Regardless of which camp you are in, I wanna give you some advice and then some encouragement. So the piece of advice is when you find yourself in analysis paralysis, you need to get out of your head and look at things objectively. And if you can't do that, then go ask for help from other people to help you objectively evaluate your application, okay? So what tools do you have to use that? You have our um, PTCAS, our application checkup and what if calculator, okay? Where we look at the common um, quantitative aspects of your application and we give you an evaluation of where you stand. It does not let you know whether or not you should apply. It just lets you know where you stand and maybe where you could use some work or where your application excels. And once you put in that information, Sometimes that can be enough to help you get some confidence that, you know what, I'm actually in a pretty good spot as an applicant. The best way to do it is to look at the programs that you're hoping to apply to via the PTCAST program directory. And from there, evaluating where your numbers are in comparison to their average accepted class statistics, because that's gonna give you an apples to apples comparison of for this program that I'm applying to, where do I stack up compared to other applicants? And this is fantastic. It's the best information that you can have to let you know if you're in a good spot to apply to that program. If you use these tools and you objectively have found that you are in a good spot, then great. If you use these tools and you find that you are lacking in some areas, then it probably isn't a bad idea to pump the brakes on your application a little bit and go get some help. Go get some someone to help you evaluate your situation and give you a plan moving forward. Of course, our number one recommendation is to come to us here at Physical Therapy Application Coach. Um, because of the experience that we've had and the success rates that we've had with helping applicants get accepted into multiple DPT programs all across the country, um, we want to help you get accepted and to have options of where you want to, to go to PT school so you can put yourself in the best situation financially and the best situation for your future, okay? So that's our recommendation. Do the objective analysis and then determine where you are. And if you still aren't sure of what you need to do, get some help from someone outside of your situation, okay? If you are in the camp of you've done everything you need to, you're in a pretty good spot for your application, but you are just fearful to submit your first application via PTCAS, I'm going to recommend you go back and you watch our video that we posted where we give you our top recommended um, things to do to help you avoid common mistakes when submitting via PTCAS. Use the check status symbol or the check status page uh, on PTCAS and you've done everything. You've double, triple checked each window and gone through and evaluated. Then go ahead and press submit. And yes, PTCAS most of the time, a lot of applicants are fearful that they've made a mistake with their transcript entry. That's the whole purpose of PTCAS verifying your application is they look at your transcript compared to what you've entered and they determine if you've made a mistake and they're going to help you rectify that if you have. Okay, so I'm not saying just slapstick, go ahead and submit. But if, even if you make a mistake, there's fail safes that are in place for you. There's areas of your application that you can go back and you can update even after you submit, okay? So yes, it's it's permanent and it's important, but go to the PTCAS Help Center and look at, these are the areas of my application that I can actually update even after I submit my application, if you're afraid of making a mistake or, or forgetting something, okay? And also at a certain point in time, you have to look at your application and say, this is as good as it's going to get and objectively saying, okay, it's time to go ahead and submit and let the chips fall where they may. But please don't be paralyzed by fear. Don't suffer from analysis paralysis. Um, and if you do, find some ways to get out of your head, put some things on paper and look objectively where you stand and get help if you need. 
Hope this video has been helpful for you for those of you who are struggling with this. If you are interested in getting signed up with our consultation coaching package so we can help you get out of the analysis paralysis rut, go ahead and send us a DM. We'd love to talk with you and get you set up. Take care. Have an awesome rest of your day. Happy applying.